Well, that's what's happened so often, that, that people who believe in states' rights only believe in the rights of those states when it falls within what they want, and that's where the conservative agenda has been about what they want at any given time. And this president is using, once again, not only the presidency of the bully pulpit to get these different federal agencies to do his bidding unconstitutionally, but it's going against states' rights because the governor of the state, the executive of that state, has said she does not want those federal law enforcement agents in their borders. So uh, state leaders say they want these uh, forces withdrawn, but we're hearing from the mayor of Chicago saying she doesn't want federal forces sent to her city, Philadelphia, Detroit, Baltimore, on the president's list of cities where he wants to send these federal agents. So how's all of this going to play out, do you think? Here's how it works. When there's a natural disaster, then a state can ask for federal assistance because it's called federalism the balance of power between the states and the federal government. And when a state executive asks for federal assistance, it's up to the federal government to decide if they're going to render that assistance. But the federal government is not allowed outside of some attack on the state to just send federal law enforcement into the state. The other side of this, I'm in New York City, for example, that Trump has decided he's going to send troops into New York City. That is not what the mayor wants. That's not what the governor wants. And so this is actually an abuse of constitutional power, abuse of executive power, and border patrol. We're not here with any issue regarding the border. This is just an abuse of law enforcement agency as well. So um, your sense is all of this ends up in the courts then? And, and that can be a lengthy process as well, right? Well, they can expedite it. There are certain things within the court system that allows for expeditious um, decision-making when it comes to federal court decisions or even state court decisions. And I believe this is something that will probably be expedited by the federal court system. It may not have to go up to the U.S. Supreme Court, but a federal court could halt um, the continued abuse of constitutional rights because there is a right to protest. And when protests are not peaceful, of course, law enforcement on the local level can come in. But rarely have you ever had federal law enforcement come in to um, be a part of a demonstration, even one that becomes violent on a local level. Trump's running as the law and order uh, presidential candidate. Uh, talk to me about the optics, because one of the cases that we're seeing is this Navy veteran, his name Christopher David. Um, he decided to go and confront some of these federal officers and ask them, you know, about their oath to the Constitution. And then he was beaten; they broke his hand. Um, that's getting a lot of play here. How is this all going to play out in the court of public opinion? Do you think? Well, Trump is running for re-election on, as you said, the law and order. Um, I platform, but unfortunately his idea of law and order is to crush what should be American democracy and to his bidding. And it's really sad. There will be those who feel that he should be able to do whatever he wants. He said he, as president, he should do whatever he wants. Unfortunately, that's not what the Constitution says. And these states actually have a right to defend their borders against the federal government. And I'll just give you this one last. From a historical standpoint, one of the fears of a presidency back when this Constitution was first created in 1787 was a rogue president. And this is what we have. And the states now are concerned that the federal courts have been packed with more Trump judges. And so their concerns may or may not be addressed the way they feel they should. But constitutionally, this is abuse of federal power. And hopefully soon, the, the Department of Homeland Security and these other federal departments will be reeled in and not allowed to abuse their, their, their constitutional rights of citizens or abuse their federal powers.